Good afternoon. Welcome to the video discussion for Saturday, December 12th, 2020. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. So this afternoon, it is rather warm out there with temperatures surging up into the mid to upper 40s over northern New Jersey, mid to upper 50s along the coast with some scattered showers here and there. Not a washout, but just definitely keep an eye on those showers throughout the region. You can see on our surface map, our warm front continues to lift northward. This cold front will be moving through tomorrow with additional showers. But overall, not, not really too bad here. Here's some of our heavier showers moving through Long Island right now. Additional showers coming in from western Pennsylvania. Most locations from most of the day will remain dry, but just keep an eye on those, some of those showers. And closer in to the coast, you can see... Overall, a lot of breaks in the clouds off to our west here, and this is going to swing on through for the evening hours with dry conditions and then additional showers coming in later on today, uh, later on tonight on through tomorrow morning. Now, here is our infrared satellite picture, and you can see our warm front, cold front, and then we got to keep an eye on this little disturbance right here. This will be swinging on through for, to, for Monday with the threat for some rain and snow now consider the fact that temperatures are going to be warm out ahead of this first first event uh so i'm not really looking for a lot of accumulation on the uh roadways but certainly on some colder surfaces so we're going to be watching this low pressure system very carefully and here's the forecast for this one and again i broke it down into zones here zone one two three and four which we have numbered here the primary theme here is that your best potential for snowfall is going to be in zone 3 with light snow at times, about 1 to 3 inches. Most locations would be around that 1 inch total, but I can't rule out a burst of moderate snow for a very short period of time on Monday morning. As a result, there's that 3 inch spot that's showing up in some mesoscale models. Now, most of this will not accumulate at all in the roadways because 24 hours beforehand, heck, 12 hours beforehand, you are well, you're going to be well above freezing. As the cold air builds in over the interior, you're going to see that potential for that snow accumulation, mostly on cold surfaces. Along the coast, you'll see some snowfall that looks nice, maybe a trace, much like what we saw a couple of days ago, but not a significant storm. That comes later. So, for today, again, some snow, some rain showers at times, otherwise sky cloud cover, high temperatures in the upper 40s to mid 50s. For tonight, on through tomorrow morning, look for scattered cloud cover with a few showers, lows in the mid 40s to lower 50s. For Sunday, showers in the morning followed by scattered clouds in the afternoon, highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s over the interior, mid to upper 50s along the coast. Then we get to Monday. Here comes our low pressure system passing through. Again, mostly snow showers and a bit of light snow over the interior. Rain snow mix over the I-95 corridor. Rain over southern Jersey completely. We have already talked about accumulations. For the most part, it's going to be pretty unimpressive for now. Look for lows in the lower to mid 30s, highs in the mid 30s to lower 40s. So again, you can see that above freezing in the afternoon when uh, this precipitation is going to be exiting. This cold front will be coming through on Monday night as well. Not much in the way of precipitation, but you're going to notice much cooler temperatures, colder temperatures, really. On Tuesday, look for scattered cloud cover, lows in the mid, lower to mid 20s over the interior, upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast, high temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s over the interior, mid to upper 30s along the coast. And then here we go for Wednesday. This is going to be a very, very interesting and potentially impressive storm here. So you have cold air built into the region. You have snow breaking out in the late afternoon, evening hours throughout the region. Rain right along the Jersey Shore. And then this storm is really going to get us back together Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So... On Wednesday, look for low temperatures in the upper teens to mid-20s, high temperatures in the mid to upper 20s over the interior, lower to mid-30s over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, and mid-30s to lower 40s over southern New Jersey. Wednesday night into Thursday, widespread heavy snow expected throughout the entire region with temperatures falling through the 40s, 30s, and 20s throughout the day on Thursday with a significant snowfall likely. 
For details on this storm, definitely check out the premium video discussion that has just been issued as well that breaks down every aspect of this storm. Only $11 a month or $30 for the season. A lot of people have been subscribing and I really, really appreciate it. So for Friday and Saturday, high pressure is going to be in complete control with tranquil yet very cold weather conditions. We're going to be looking at lows in the single digits to mid-teens over the interior, upper teens to lower 20s along the coast, and high temperatures will range from the mid to upper 20s over the interior and upper 20s to mid 30s along the coast. That is your video discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. We'll continue to have updates on this storm and look for a public um, map, snow map for the storm on Wednesday, Thursday, most likely on Monday afternoon or Tuesday morning. Have a wonderful day and as always, stay safe out there.